Hello, one and all. Welcome back to another episode of Manly Voices. I'm Evan, also known as Manly Ankles. I'm back again with Gabs and Evo. Oh, and I just realized that my pits stink a lot. I'm really sorry, you guys. It's okay. <laughs> I feel like every time I walk into your house, I'm either like, sorry, my pits stink, or sorry, my feet stink. Well, I can't smell it from here, so you're I always Thank wonder you. what people who listen to this, like, in their head, imagine you looking like. <laughs> how, how you talk. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's true. Yeah. That's funny. She's subscribe if you want my she face is. reveal. Right? <laughs> All right. You should probably think you're like this weird troll that's like, Definitely close to <laughs> Sorry, Sakura. guys. Sorry, my, guys. My bits break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Picture perfect Monica. Uh, Whoa, Sakura. that's pretty. So we finished the prologue. We kind of talked it out. We we're going to explore the school. But then Mondo, the bike, the biker gang leader, just punched us in the face, and now we're in this room. Which is super That's rude. Right. All right. Don't do that to people that Corn you want to be. Corn cob here. So now Corn we have cob. to. Uh, now we've got to explore. Just starting with this plate. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. No looks like it's made of some kind of metal. And it, and it looks like it, it's in the plate of a. Sh it's the shape of a plate. It's in the plate of a shape. It's in the plate of a shape. Whoa. A surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. Just jack off right in front of it. <laughs> yeah, we're not allowed to just shoot a stream of jizz in <laughs> the face of the camera. It said I wasn't supposed to intentionally destroy yeah. the cameras. Accidents with <laughs> your <laughs> fluids happen. Just, he just wants some private time, so he like draws a shitty recreation of a room, like the room on a piece of paper. Pencil, yeah. yeah, just pushes it in front. It's like, oh, everything's normal here. I better make sure not to touch it. All right, so uh, there's there like a radio. Oh, is there a in, thing the on the floor right there? Uh, let's see. On the flow. On the flow. It's some kind of lint roller. Oh. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. Yeah, we're not fucking animals here. We're just cold-blooded killers. This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. I like how this. Guy has the tendency to like over explain everything. Yeah. Just an everyday cra trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartment or anything. Anything in the uh. Nice! Oh. Okay, so we'll get those coins by exploring things and anything we'll in use the, them uh, later. Desk behind the bed. Um, hold on. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Huh. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Why? Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. What? And for the boys, a tool kit. That's sexist. What if I want both? The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. For uh, the boys, uh we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel, and let's all enjoy ourselves. Uh. It's I, a little sexist, but. But also. It's plot. Well, and also, I guess it kind of is attempting to play at like, oh, maybe someone with a smaller build is not going to necessarily have an e as easy of a time bludgeoning someone to death. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Not, not everyone is Sakura. Plus, yeah. You never know if these could be like. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. <laughs> so now the trash is no longer empty. It but also means if somebody's... Depending on whether it's death by bludgeoning or blunt trauma versus death by... Unless someone stats. stole someone's tools and framed them. Yeah. yeah, but then you could find out who's missing their tool. Exactly. True. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a tool kit. Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll leave it here. No, carry it with you. What's Murder this? tool. The doctor always carries a screwdriver. Felix. <laughs> <laughs> it's a notepad. I guess the school must wait, have given wait, one to I each of us. I just imagine like, like fix it. Felix was a character in this game that like someone was bleeding to death, and they were like, fix it, Felix. It's, it's like, like I can't. This is a little out of my pay grade. <laughs> this would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Hmm? Does that mean someone's in there, or well, are you remember, in the girls' bathroom right now? Yeah, remember what the paper just said. The bath, the girls' bathrooms have locked, so there must be something wrong with the door. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Okay, but you have a key. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... The girls' room! Sleeping anywhere <laughs> other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. 
This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me. Someone wow. must have carried me here after Jeez. I fell unconscious. There's so that bed. answers that question. Is this a <laughs> the next question is, what's everyone else up to right is that now? A light. Only one way to find Picture? out. And that's to get out of here. Okay, but you have a key. Yeah, he's working it out, I think. There it is. Okay, there we go. Okay. Snap back to reality. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others, but there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV it's show. Monica. Oh my god, Monica is love. Wham. Monica is life. Just gets punched again. That would be so funny. Uh. Oh, nope, it's Sayaka. She, her legs are literally like long spider legs. Whose calves are that long? <laughs> Sayaka? Sorry, are you okay? I, I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. So she's the ultimate pop sensation? She's oh, that's right. like a famous singer yeah, okay. and stuff. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Okay, I think I'm making the decision now that I want her to have a Minnesota kind of kind of way of Minnesota. talking. Minnesota. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. <laughs> You're all like, I guess if you want. <laughs> Are you okay, Saika? Are you hurt? Mm-hmm. You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. Pop I, idols I, in Minnesota <laughs> are so common. Can you actually give that voice to Celeste, the gambler? Yes, I totally can. And then just stick with like the soft, kind girl voice for yeah, her. Yeah, Paula. Okay. Mm -hmm. You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's me, though. That's my, on my dick. Yeah. <laughs> That's good then. <laughs> but are you okay? <laughs> you know, from when Mondo hit you and you fell Not asleep and you out. shit your pants. It was really <laughs> awkward for all of us. We all just kind of dragged you by your arms back to this room. <laughs> this, we, none of us wanted to touch you. Yeah, there's shit it's everywhere. It's like a brown trail. <laughs> <laughs> I just carried it. And I got like, it on my hands. Oh, it was, God. I just carried them like above their hands and some of you held candles like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. Then I, sh then I shit my pants. <laughs> This, it sucks that this is the only. It, it sucks this is the I only wardrobe I, I brought here. So I still side. have shit in my pants. Yeah. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right there from the beginning, and my lack of constraint in my bowels. <laughs> Makoto. Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. No shit. <laughs> no shit. No shit. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried, you know, because of your accident. Thanks. <laughs> By the way, what are you because doing here? Actually, I came to get you. And you by came get, to get, I mean me? stab. Uh, by, th by that, I mean get you a change of clothes. You stink. <laughs> You're just really difficult to be around. Well, of course, it stinks to bathroom floors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come into the dining hall. The dining hall? Where we eat you. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. They decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. Yeah, because that worked out so well for the mystery team, okay? Anyway, so we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we'd each found out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. Good, I'll go ahead and meet you in the dining hall then. Bye! Yeah. Is it a date? Bye! <laughs> I love you! <laughs> All right. We need to start repopulating now. So, things. My loins demand it. My loins. Don't so, talk about your loins. So there is a laundry room. So it's a good thing we have this. Oh, from good. our accident. Um, for your accident. Cer certain rooms will become unlocked as we progress through the game. Okay. Uh, the dining room. The dining really hall is here. Art style. I know, right? I love it. I I love it too. I really like the animation in this. Mm -hmm. This must be the dormitory dining hall. Dorma dining hall, as we call it. <laughs> Looks pretty clean, so don't sit down anywhere. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Looks pretty clean, so that's good. Uh, I guess that's not really important now with us being prisoners here and all. Let's just live like slobs. Yeah, that's true. Anarchy. Anarchy. <laughs> Nobody was there waiting for us. We don't really have much of a choice. I guess we should just... Make out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you were going to say? Something like that. <laughs> Okay, let's just wait here. Let's maintain the six feet rule. Huh? You heard that? Wait, 
instead of exploring the school, we should just explore, explore each other's bodies. <laughs> yes. I already With know you have the implements. <laughs> I already know you have a, a diagram of the, the anatomy, so you can use that however you'd like. Yeah. In case you didn't know where things are. Yeah. In case it wasn't like painfully obvious, unless you need like a microscope to find. Anyway, like I said, I'm psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. Wasn't somebody clairvoyant, though? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's not that oh, great. Uh, maybe, uh, I don't think can. Yeah, you can be hero. All right. When we, you'll, we'll point him out when, we, when he comes in. Yeah. Is it really just but intuition? Oh, it's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. <laughs> right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Okay. Here's, here's how they work. I'll never notice it. Oh! Oh, are you familiar with reactions? Well, just in case, let me explain. When purple words show up, if you press Y button, you'll go into reaction mode. Like that. Oh, are you familiar with reactions? Well, just in case, let me explain. <laughs> At this point, you can use the directional button to make a selection. And select the A button to confirm. Also, when it comes to dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Ah, have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. <laughs> Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps moving forward. Thank you! All right. Is there ever a time when you won't want to actually do a reaction and it'll have a uh, negative re impact because of that? I think usually you want to react just to, okay. like, get all the information. I was yeah, just thinking it might be. Yeah, but it's also the opposite is true. Because, yeah, leaving yeah. it alone could trigger something else. Like, if you do press it, then they, like, are on to you noticing something suspicious about them. Yeah. 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 All right. There's By a lot the of way, intrigue in this kind of There's so much intrigue. Oh, my oh. goodness. <laughs> All right, guys, we got to continue this game. Like, we will have done nothing but walk to the tiny hall. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Well, it's just, I know this is kind of continuing self-introduction thing, but I wanted to, wanted to ask you something. So I'll just do it one at a time. Continuing our self-introductions? We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayaka wants to ask me something? Do, do, just like do you even breath. lift? <laughs> I wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. Mama told me to ask you this. <laughs> Do you even lift? Is that I know. Like, different from odd looking? Like... Well, I guess not always the purple words will lead to something, oh. but it's kind of nice to check it every. Uh, I know check this out is kind of. But I wanted to ask you something. What did you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually, I, I was. I knew it! I went there too! I was in class four! Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. Aww. I only remembered you because I remembered you pooping in class. <laughs> <laughs> he's just notorious for- he's the ultimate pooper. He's you the haven't ultimate. Changed inappropriate a pooper. <laughs> Everyone, please stand at attention and greet our new classmate, Makoto Nagi, the ultimate shit stain. <laughs> We, we never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Aw. Hey, are you okay? You're you're sweating profusely. Yeah, it, it, and there's still a smell coming from your rear end. It's just wafting. It's wafting towards me now. Yeah, I'm just surprised it's all. I, I made a surprise shit. <laughs> I wouldn't have thought you would remember me. We went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I'd never been the type of person to ever really stand out. You know, not everybody poops their pants on the first day of school. That's hard to forget. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal would call me boring. In fact... <laughs> Jesus Christ, what... What is... There's a box. It's a gross one, too. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's, all, let's all woman up here. <laughs> okay. Keep going. Keep going. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Yeah. Strange, that's... It's a what? Okay. There's already a murder happening in this apartment. That's... No, don't kill with that! I have to use that! Okay, I'll use that. Oh my god! I got it, I got it. Okay. 
Um, she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Aww. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. Aww. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. No, I just... Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about this. It's like you just stab her right there. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I feel so comfortable around you, and then she just gets shanked. <laughs> my heart grew calmer, especially after it stopped beating. Yeah. <laughs> You're amazing, Makoto. No, I'm really not. Yeah, you're right. Never mind. I'm nothing at all compared to you ultimates. Gosh, lack of confidence is something that I find so sexy. But you're the one that helped me find my courage again, not any of these ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. And thank you for helping me out. I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? Yep, I'm your assistant now. Fucking deal. I'm going to help you get out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... Then we'll get married... It just gets we'll... me pumped up! Oh my god! Which is nice, but still, everyone else is late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. It's time for man. next time on Manly Voices. It's time to... Banana! Okay, sorry. All right. Uh, next time on Manly Voices, we'll meet with everyone and find out what happened while we'll we find were out what the, the fuck, fuck time it is and what time it is. Uh, so thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this, leave a like down below and please subscribe for more voice adventures and leave a comment on what you think we should do next. Leave a comment saying what time you think it is and leave and leave a comment supporting Makoto and his abnormal shitting d defect. Yeah, let us know if you've been there, fam. <laughs> All right, until next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.